I am definitely a bag girl. Hey there Disney Lung fam, it's Beth and welcome back to my channel. Happy Thursday everybody! I am so excited for today's video. This is actually something that I've been trying to do for what feels like forever. I think I mentioned back in November that I am definitely a bag girl and I wanted to share my Disney bag collection with you guys and then Vlogmas happened, and then New Year's and Chinese New Year, and it's just been a super busy time. I've had all of my bags like ready to go, sitting in a tub, which is in front of me here, and now I feel like we need to get this done because I need to pack these bags. We are packing up the apartment. We are down till basically a month until we have to get out of this apartment. So uh, lots of fun things coming soon. You may have noticed like my background is starting to change a little bit. We are taking things down, packing it up, and just getting things ready to go because end of March will be here honestly in no time. Sorry if you hear crunching sounds. That would be Meeple. He's down at my feet. He knocked into some snacks and he's just kind of chilling here with us today eating. So, all right, like I said, I am definitely a bag girl. I love handbags, have probably way too many handbags, and yeah, I've just never been a shoe person. I don't have very good feet, so I can't really wear a lot of cute shoes for a long period of time, so definitely bags are my best friend, and Disney bags are simply amazing. So a couple of the bags today you may have seen before, but for the most part, I don't think that you guys have really seen many of these. Some of them still have the tags on them because I honestly haven't found a good excuse to use them. I definitely will get a lot of use out of all of them once we are kind of closer to the parks and I can go take some cute Instagram photos, bound, all of that good stuff. So a lot of those have just been kind of sitting around waiting for their like time and purpose to be here. And I mean, it's almost here. So all right, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in because we have quite a lot to get through. And I've also included like coin purses and like smaller things as well. So I think let's start with the two largest items, which are my two backpacks. So this is the first mini backpack that I ever purchased. I got it this past summer when I was at Disneyland. I happened to be there on the day that they released these pass holder bags. And guys, these were flying off of the shelf. People were going crazy. I was back at my hotel when I saw that this was released and I don't stay on property. And then when I saw this, I like hightailed it back to Disneyland so that I could pick one of these up and I love it. The pattern is all of the Fab Six and they are in front of different Disneyland icons. So super cute little mini backpack and of course we have our little 2018 pass holder bit here. Which not gonna lie, I think that is the best part of these bags. This next backpack I got way more recently. I think I picked this up in November and I have not used it. You can see it is still in its packaging because I, I don't even know if I should use this, you guys. It is so pretty and white. I am afraid of getting it dirty, so it's actually been kind of sitting on my dresser for the longest time, just kind of as decoration, and I feel like once we move and get settled, this might end up just kind of chilling in my background once again. I'm sure I'll use it at some point, but it just has to be a really good reason and a time when I know it's not going to get dirty, so probably can't like take this on any rides or anything. It would basically be going to the park to take photos or to eat or something Thing and uh, yeah, because I am definitely in love with this bag. It is white and gold and small world, like everything that I love in a bag. 
So I definitely want to keep this around forever and not have anything ruin it. So those are my two only lounge fly style mini backpacks, but I love them both dearly. And then I also have this style mini backpack that just has some mouse ears. It's gray with this kind of burgundy wine colored bow. And then it has some simple straps. This is not a Disney product. This was from Asia, so it's just, I don't even think it's a knockoff of anything. I think it's just like a, I don't really know what it is, but I had bought this for a couple of photos. It does not hold a whole lot. It is even smaller than like the lounge fly style backpacks, but you know, it was cute. It got some photos done and yeah, haven't really used it since just because it's not practical. Not that I go for practical bags because I have a whole section here of bags that are just not practical and they are purely for like aesthetic, waiting to be bound with, stuff like that. So uh, maybe we'll do those types of bags next. So kicking that section off, let's start with my newest bag, which is this Alien Prize Crane Game purse. These were just released at Shop Disney within the past month, and as soon as they were released, I basically ran to my Disney store and had to pick one up. And I think this is adorable. Again, not practical in any way. I could probably fit my phone, a charger, and like my wallet in this, but... Yeah, usually if I can't fit like my camera and everything in my bag, I consider it impractical because I always carry that sort of stuff on me. But you guys, it's so cute. It has a little dangling alien carabiner in there as well. It's metallic, it's glittery. I am so excited. The day that I finally get to go to Toy Story Land, I will be taking this for sure and taking all of the pictures because how could you not? All right, so we've got Meeple joining us, but this next bag is again super impractical, but I love it, you guys. It is this seashell Little Mermaid glitter bag. All of the hardware is rose gold. It's a little crossbody and yeah, like look at all of the shimmery glitter detail. It is so pretty. The problem is you would think seeing this bag that it's like a pretty decent size, but the zipper part here literally fits nothing. My phone cannot fit in this. My wallet cannot fit in this. Um, I don't really know what I would put in this. My ID holder would fit in this, but uh, not a whole lot of other things would. Maybe like a packet of tissues and some lip gloss, like, I don't know. And this is definitely, it is an adult bag. Um, it also has this little aerial dangle, but I've been thinking I'm gonna take her off because, you know, she doesn't really add to it for me. I basically got this just because I thought it would be super cute for Instagram and really cute for like a bound that I'm hoping to do. So, uh, yeah, sorry, it got a little bent up, so we're gonna have to fix that. But I just think this bag is stunning despite being pretty much useless. Ready for another useless bag? This one's super cute though, but again, useless. It is this little Duffy purse. Look at him. It just looks like a stuffed animal. And then he's got a strap here and his bag, including his little tail, his booty opens up. You can fit nothing in here. Again, probably like some lipstick, uh, maybe my card ID holder would fit in here. I'm not too sure about that. I think if I took out individual cards, like my pass and like IDs and stuff, they would. But uh, yeah, he doesn't hold a whole lot, but he's so cute and soft and got him when I went to Tokyo Disney just because Duffy is such a big thing over there. I thought that I just really wanted something Duffy and this was what I ended up with. And I still love him and want to cuddle him, but he's just not really a practical bag at all. I mean, I don't know. 
I'll eventually find a cute little use for him probably. <coughs> Sorry to upset you, Meebo. All right, next up I have this Marie crossbody bag. If you watched my video last week, our Valentine's Day swap, Kate actually got me the matching wallet to this bag, so I love this. It is just a simple little crossbody. Again, super little and thin. Basically holds my phone and my ID holder, but that's okay. We're just going for aesthetics and cuteness. And it says Loungefly on the back in the most adorable pink color. Marie's bow is sparkly and then I always feel weird opening this bag because like you kind of lift her head up Luckily her head is here again, so you're not like decapitating her But uh, yeah, definitely was a little strange the first time But then you've got two different slots inside and yeah, like I said basically slide my phone into one Slide my card holder into the other and that is about all that this fits but she's cute. So next I have this teeny tiny little coin purse poof. I got this for basically when I go and go back to Asia because everything there is so coin heavy that I thought this coin purse would be so adorable. And it is all of the Disney cats. You can see there's Mochi right there. We've got Dinah, O'Malley, Marie, Berlioz, even Cheshire, like basically the whole entire gang is on here. This is actually from the Japan Disney Store as part of their Cat Day collection. And I just couldn't resist picking this up because it has all of my little favorites on it. And I am really hoping that I will get to use this soon because yeah, I just thought this would be a super fun little coin poof type pouch and yeah not really sure what else I would do with it because again you can see how small this is but I think it would be real good for some change so then sticking to the theme of coin purses I also got this awesome Mickey premium bar coin purse this was actually in my most recent magic at your door and this is seriously one of my favorite items again it like barely opens up here so definitely like a coin purse type thing or honestly just something for like cute Instagram photos but I love this and I cannot wait to get to use this so this is not a coin purse, but it is just kind of a cosmetic pouch or just like, I don't know. I personally use this kind of stuff for like camera equipment when I'm traveling. It's perfect because I always feel like I have so many different like cords and chargers and like little things that I need for my camera. So these bags come in super handy for that. I also got this one in a sub box fairly recently. This was in my first bippity boppity box and I love this. It is a lounge fly item. It has Marie in all of the little flowers. And then the back is this really cute pink polka dot. And then inside we have this really nice gray striping detail. I also find that sometimes I just throw stuff like this in my bigger purse and I'll use it to hold like receipts or coupons or stuff because my bags get really unorganized really quickly and most of my like day-to-day -day bags are kind of larger tote style bags so uh really easy to lose stuff in those and have those get out of control real fast so stuff like this also comes in super handy for that kind of stuff so this next item isn't a coin purse but it is really small it is my very first Dooney and burke purse and actually my only Dooney and burke purse or item of any sort I bought this when I was living and working in Hong Kong so at the time this was like basically what I could afford because I was still living basically off of a student type budget and I love this so much. I really hope the next time I go back to Hong Kong I can buy kind of the larger style version of this. So it is the sketch series but it's the sketch series for Hong Kong. So you'll see across the front here, it says Hong Kong. It has the castle on the back and just a bunch of other little Hong Kong specific icons. So I love this so much. My friend has all of like the US version from this series and hers just say like Walt Disney World or Disneyland or whatever they say. I think they say both, like they're not 
park specific here in the US, but I love just being able to have this one that says Hong Kong on it. It just makes me feel special. And like I said, I really wanna go back and get like a bigger size purse of this whenever, whenever I go back next basically because I love this. Sadly, it's just not a practical purse at all, even though it's like a wristlet and you would think it would be. There's only a little snap closure. So I find when I stick things in this, it does kind of slide out really easily. So it's not practical to take to the parks and not really practical for day-to-day -day use, but I still just really love and cherish this item. I think this is like one of the first designer type things that I ever even purchased for myself. Um, yeah, so doesn't get a whole lot of use anymore. I did use it when we were living in Hong Kong, but uh, still super special to me. So this next bag is my only Daniel Nicole piece. It's not really a full crossbody. It's like a crossbody that's just a wallet. So you can see that this just opens up. It has some card slots, a slot where you can put your phone or whatever else you may need for the park. And that's about it. But I got this because I thought it was super cute. Look at Snow White and how glittery she is. I feel like I'm matching her today. And then I just love that it was pure white. I thought that this was really, really pretty. So I say that this is my only Danielle Nicole piece, but I do actually have this in a second design. I picked this up in Cinderella's form as well, just because I really liked the glittery blue kind of look to Cinderella. You can see she's still in her packaging, but I thought she was just super pretty. And then this is more like a vinyl fake leather type material and it's glitzy. So I just thought this was super adorable, but I think I'm actually going to gift this to one of my friends. That's why I've never taken it out of the packaging. So we'll see, cause I thought it would be really cute if we could kind of like semi twin and uh, yeah, we'll see what I end up doing with this, but pretty sure I'm gonna be gifting this to someone. So that's why she's still in her packaging, but I do think that this wallet is also equally adorable. All right, so next up, I have this really awesome tote. It is from a subscriber and a fellow YouTuber, Abby, over at Disney or Datney. She sent this to me, and it is Mickey and Minnie having Singaporean Kaya toast while having some kopi, which is coffee, and I love this so much. You guys probably saw me open this and freak out in a Magical Mail video not that long ago, but I love, love, love this so much. It reminds me so much of Hong Kong and all of the little cafes and yeah. Again, kind of like the Small World bag, it is kind of this lighter cream color, so I am super careful when I use it, but I have been loving this just for like running errands and things like that because it is just so cute and it's from Abby, so it's definitely something super special to me. Thank you again if you are watching this, Abby. And yeah, this is I think my only like Disney tote other than like some Disney like shopping type bags, which I didn't include any of those in this video because they're just reusable shopping bags. But this is definitely really awesome and a favorite part of my collection. So these final two bags are some of my personal favorites. They're both from Japan, so they're super special to me. And this first one is what I've been using more recently as like my everyday bag. And it is this tote and it has Minnie and Figaro. It has this really cute scalloped detail with hearts inside of it. And then Minnie and little Figgy are like the sketchbook style. It has this little like pom-pom element on her shoes. And I just think that this is darling. The back is just like plain. It is powdery, pink, and perfection. And then inside is nothing too special. I've like emptied it out. Sorry, it's a little dirty, but it's just a basic tote, not a whole lot. There's like no compartments or anything in this. So that's where I say like those little pouches and things definitely come in handy. 
but I have been just loving this little bucket style tote bag so much lately. It has definitely been my go-to this winter and it also like pairs really nicely with my winter coat. So uh, bonus points for that, but yeah, I love this. So this last bag is one of my absolute favorites. I have not even used it yet. I'm basically waiting for it to be spring and warm and I think that this will be absolutely perfect. I am not even like a huge fan of the characters that this bag represents, but like when I saw this, my heart melted and I knew I had to get it because it was just that cute. But it is actually a Thumper and Miss Bunny bag. So it is this light pink and kind of cream color. It has these darker pink little ears that peek out and I think this is so freaking adorable. The little hardware detail is this heart, but it also looks like a rabbit's nose. On the back, we have this etched in detail that says Thumper and Miss Bunny friendly frolic and it is just so adorable you guys and this is actually a really nice size bag so inside you'll see the strap which i haven't even opened up or taken out but it does have a nice pretty deep inside and it also has this really nice zippered pocket and yeah like i said i saw this and just thought that this would be the most perfect spring bag and it's totally in my color scheme. The hardware is gold and I just freaking fell in love with this. So of course I had to pick it up and yeah, I cannot wait to use this. This has also basically just been a bag that has been sitting on our dresser next to the small world bag because I got both of those around the same time and it has just been waiting to get used and I cannot wait to use it. So yeah, super adorable. So that is it for my Disney bag collection. So nothing too crazy, but I definitely have a good amount for going and taking photos around the parks and things like that. So really loving my collection so far. And I feel like a Disney bag collection doesn't really need to get too crazy because really like how many different purses do you need? I mean, I say that and I kind of need a lot of purses because I have a whole larger bag collection than like my Disney bag collection. Um, yeah, and those are what I definitely use more frequently than my Disney bags. Disney bags are definitely more for like cute special occasions, photo opportunities, stuff like that. Typically not my day-to-day -day bag, other than, like I said, Mini and Figaro, which has been my day-to-day -day bag for this winter just because I love it. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite bag of mine is, and definitely let me know if we are bag twins. I love getting to twin with other people, or even if it's like the same bag, or like, not same bag, but even if it's like from the same collection, but a different bag in that collection, kind of like my Snow White and Cinderella, I love getting to know that stuff. And tell me what your favorite Disney bag is because maybe I'll have to like track it down because I still am like slowly adding to my collection, not gonna lie, like never probably gonna stop because I just do really love bags so much, but uh, you know. What can I say? All right guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. It was definitely fun for me. And like I said, I have just been trying to make this video since November and not finding any time. And I know a few of you guys have been asking about it as well. So I hope you guys finally got to enjoy this with me today. Make sure to come back on Sunday for another fun video with me. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Bye.